How much tax do you have to pay in your country? So how many percent tax do you guys have to pay in taxes? In Sweden we pay almost 55% if you run a company and 35% if employed. Too much. Personally the tax cut is done automatically when I get my salary and I only lose around 2k sec. I live in Sweden and have a part-time job. Also my tax returns are as much as I get in salary before the tax cut ironically. It's crazy really, so I can make 100 each month and I have to give away 50k. It's crazy. Maximum income tax rate is 52%. 1.2% or year on all personal capital above 21k. 21% sales tax on all purchases deductible for businesses. LCC type companies have 20% revenue tax up to euro 200k and 25% on everything above euro 200k. Furthermore you have lots of taxes hidden so that employed people won't notice them directly. In the US it depends on which state you incorporate in and whether you're US Corp or C Corp. C Corp, 0% to 35% Federal plus State Corp tax rate plus Obamacare tax S Corp, 0% to 20% Federal plus State Corp tax rate plus Obamacare tax Personal income tax, salary. 0% to 39.6% federal plus state income tax high earners also pay Obamacare tax long term capital gains or dividends or interest, 0% to 20% federal plus state corp tax rate plus Obamacare tax. I always tell people incorporate in a state with no state corporate tax and have your residency in a state with no income tax. Keep salary modest and take the rest in LT dividends or distributions. Good right up. You forget consumption taxes like the gas taxes and sales taxes, compliance taxes like the ones to keep your entities open, property taxes and governmental Ponzi schemes like Social Security and Medicare. I really end up spending at least half of everything I make on taxes when it's all said and done and I'm in a very business friendly state. To not get thrown in jail for tax evasion I have to hire a top tier tax guy to make sure I did everything right. So that's another tax in a way. On top of all of this, they even tax my time because I have to spend so much time making sure everything is in order and working with my tax guy. When it is all said and done. You have worked until June or July for the government every single year. Then we have the communists in our country who like to camp out with signs and argue that business owners need to pay their fair share of taxes. Keep in mind that these worthless psychopathic imbeciles probably paid zero dollars in taxes the prior year and most of them are probably getting handouts from the government. Financed by the business owners. If I could describe our tax situation in the United States I would call it a conflict of interest. Carrot agreed forgot payroll taxes, compliance and consumption taxes. Minus 2% not a typo. Minus 2% personal income tax 0% sales tax provincial 5% VAT 7.5% capital gains tax 50% of 15% 14% corporate tax these are the rates that I get legally for using all loopholes available to me. At the end of the year the GAF pays me back more money than I paid in taxes generally. If I made £100,000 sterling this year April 2015, April 2016, £29,403 in taxes and if I wanted to make national insurance contributions, £5,231.28 net wage pounds 65,365.72. If you make £50,000 net wage of £36,365.72 UAE is my choice of destination long term the £35,000 loss a year on tax can simply cover my rental costs and expenses over there as an example.
If you want to keep going higher up the scale. If you want to misbehave over there think twice about moving though, save your fun for a trip or two out of the country 1 million pounds net equals 540,625 pounds and 72 pence simply moving abroad to the UAE means 1 million pounds earned is two years for someone else working in the UK of course there are lots of tax loopholes but you can avoid the whole process I guess if you're an internet based business and your location could be anywhere. Should I be so lucky I'm going where I can fill up my financial reserves for the long term, no flashy excess living either, not too materialistic in that sense thankfully, although with the money saved on tax I guess a nice car wouldn't hurt. Where are you located or residing if you don't mind me asking? And could you describe some of the loopholes that you are using? Canada. There are no taxes under a certain income level so I artificially lower my income by writing off everything. Everything that can be a business expense becomes a business expense. Capital gains tax is calculated at your income tax level, but only 50% of your total capital gains are taxable. Because I don't pay income tax, I have no income tax percentage. So I only pay 7.5%. Corporate tax is only 14% because I utilize the small business deductions for companies making under $500,000 or my company artificially brings in a low amount of revenue because I write everything off. I'm operating near $0 or even at a loss, not sure right now. It's more complicated than that, but I pay my accountant to figure it out. Income, capped at 15% corporate. Capped at 16.5% only on local profits. Profits abroad are taxed at 0%. Where is that? And for me at the moment, income tax, 0%. I'm a sailor, no resident of any country, even though I am a citizen of one corporate tax. Once I finally get started 0% as it's not registered anywhere. You need to be a resident of a country to be able to register a company, I'm not a resident so I can't register a company. For the long run I'm looking to register my company though in a nice area where, one it's a safe or reliable place to register my online business to no worldwide income taxes, etc etc etc. Sorry I should have said, Hong Kong. How can you call everything you do a business expense? You obviously can't write off money you put in the bank, you would need to be spending every dime that comes in to even start to make this work. Then again I'm not Canadian. Maybe I should be. He must be living below minimum wage see other posts for reference. I'd rather pay taxes than do that lol. Well, everything is an exaggeration ha ha. My rent is a business expense home office, my transportation. A good portion of meals away from home, all domestic and international travel, etc. The goal is to operate at or near zero dollars in net profit, although haven't succeeded at that yet. I set my take home and pay to be below the threshold of having to pay income tax. So my purchasing power is anywhere from 2x 3x my actual declared income. $15,000 declared. $45,000 actual for example I'm just playing the system basically. It won't be sustainable as my revenues or income increases, but at that point I'll probably be out of the country 180 plus 1 days per year to some tax haven country. Me too and I hate taxes. In the eyes of the government, and on paper yes. In reality no, not even close. Sticking my middle finger to the dear old government. Those are all good, but I hope you have that bulletproofed. Sounds like this could bite you in the ass in an audit. At least in Germany, it's very, very, very hard to get these approved as business expenses. Travel is easiest, of course, if you travel to business events or meetings or due diligence on investments, etc. My question is how do you write off money that you put away? It's a non issue. My former business partner operated off similar principles and was audited on three separate occasions. 
the government couldn't fathom that he could afford to live in a $1.1 million dollar house with a declared income of under $10,000 or On each occasion he was deemed to be within his legal rights and the government came away with nothing. The more money you have, the more loopholes you have available to you. I don't understand the question. Money that I put away? That's my question too. Also you must have paid near normal tax rates on your buyout money that you used to fund your current stocks etc. So it seems like you are basing your tax calculations on already taxed income that you now invest and pay taxes on capital gains while the rest of us are actually talking about actual business revenue and how to get money out of the business at the lowest tax rate. Maybe I'm wrong. Simple. If you kept some money and didn't blow everything you made in a given year on business expenses, how did you keep from paying taxes on it? Regarding the second half of your question, not really. I don't know how it works in other places, but capital gains are taxable on only 50% of the total gain. So 50% was tax free plus I had and still have a lot of tax credits left over from education expenses and other crap to offset some tax. I still paid tax, yes, but nowhere near what could have been. Oh, no I still paid corporate tax. 14% as stated for any business making under $500,000 or it's my tax that I avoided paying. I'm just confused now. I hate Canada. How can you pay corporate tax when your business makes no profits? I know that was the point of classifying as much as possible as business expenses. You only pay corporate tax on profits, not on revenue. At least here. I'm so confused. If taxes were paid on revenue instead of profit it would screw up everything so that isn't the case. LOL. Here goes these are fictitious numbers for simplicity. No way around this one unless you operate at a loss or break even. Max tax is only 14% if the business makes under $500,000 or colon you don't pay tax if you declare less than $17,500 or approx so the goal is to write off everything you possibly can so that you artificially keep your personal income below the threshold where you would have to pay tax. 50% is tax exempt. 50% you have to pay tax on. You can use as many tax credits that you have banked to offset any capital gains tax. I currently have around $28,000 in credits on reserve. I never said I never paid corporate tax. The goal was to keep it as close to $0 as possible. Also it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So maybe I'm making more sense in my head than here, but this post above should make it a bit clearer. As to your point about paying corporate tax on profit, you're correct. The goal is to minimize profit. Say I bring in $100,000 in revenue. I tried to do my best to get to $100,000 expenses exaggerated numbers for simplicity. I never succeeded in that regard. But I always succeeded in never paying income tax, even though I technically lived on much more income. Okay, so you are saying if you make 100k you blow 82.5k on stuff you can call business expenses. Then your salary at 17.5 is the last expense to the business. That zeroes out the business. Then at 17.5 you don't pay anything on a personal level. We have a winner. Denmark in rough numbers, VAT, 25% corporate tax, 25% dividend tax, 27% personal income tax, 42%, above $77,000 annually, plus 15%. Hong Kong might interest you. It's very simple to set up, although you will need to be in the country in person to open up a local business bank account. Other than that you can do it yourself or hire someone locally to do it all for you. However if you are American you might find the bank account difficult. HK did a deal with the US or IRS to report American bank account activity and I believe now some banks point blank refuse American citizen bank account due to the increased administration work. 
although I guess it will be a case-by-case -case situation I know of two people personally who ran into difficulties recently. I also sponsored my own visa into Hong Kong with this business which again was a pretty simple process, just required some forms, a business plan and a chunk of cash parked in the bank whilst I applied. You don't need to live in HK to set up and run a business there, I just decided I wanted to. Any questions feel free to message me. Basically 0%. My businesses are in zero tax jurisdictions. I am not a tax resident where I live. And as an American I take advantage of the FAE foreign earned income exclusion for about $150,000 or why. All other income is deferred offshore. Hate to see what happens if the guff ever looks into this. I'm sure you're walking the line just fine, but still sketchy. Only positive with taxes in Sweden is that you can go to university, medical care and when you get old you get get some money to live on. Socialism right question mark equals. Regarding not having a profit in your business. Here in the Netherlands you can set a reserve in your buzines, which is basically a piggy bank on your balance where you store the money untaxed for future spending. Again, operating at or near zero dollars profit is not a problem where I live. I'm emulating the strategies of one of the wealthiest individuals I know, who has been audited on multiple occasions and has been found to have not violated any laws whatsoever. Capital depreciation is another strategy that the wealthy can utilize and that I utilize to reduce or eliminate one's tax burden. I don't want to delve into that as it's beyond the scope of the original topic. Sketchy? Possibly, but so is government theft in the form of taxes. Again beyond the scope of this topic. The end goal is to live 180 plus 1 days in a foreign country. That too is using a loophole available to the anyone but in reality only those with the means or wealth to skirt the lines of not owing any tax in any jurisdiction. Be careful here. This varies based on country. In some countries e. The US you become a tax resident after 122 days in the country. Portugal, 23% VAT 23% corporate tax 48% personal income tax greater than 80k euro because I'm under 200k or annual sales I choose to be a sole proprietorship with simplified accounting, meaning that 15% of my sales are considered profit and then that is taxed as personal income. As my margins are way better than 15%, I'm better of this way, don't need an official accountant. On the other side all liabilities will come under my name, so it is risky or on that part. Also the 15.3% FICA or Medicare tax on the first $118,000 for self-employed. Or half that for employed. Portugal has an interesting option for residency. You can apply for the NHR non-habitual resident visa and if your income is derived from dividends, you pay no tax in Portugal. The best way to do this is to set up an offshore company it is a bit more complicated as you need to be in the right country, but it is doable, and pay yourself only in dividends from the profit of the company. Voila, no corporate tax from offshore jurisdiction and no personal tax since it is paid in dividends. Same here, I write everything off as a business expense, eating out, business expense, cell phone bill, business expense, internet, travel, I even tried once to include my manicures, did not work, but you get the idea, it works for the first 2 minus 3 years of a business. Then we come to the question, why doesn't it work after that? The idea is to write everything off to the maximum so you are taxed the minimum on the excess that you could not write off as business expense. The GUF is okay with minimum excess the first two to three years, then they will get suspicious and you could have an audit, keep in mind that I write almost everything off. My car is a business expense, my gas, my oil change is a business expense etc if you can justify everything it's still okay to do it my commercial building owner finds ways to justify his hunting trips to the north i am looking into s corp and pay myself a salary 
then everything after salary is a dividend at the end of the year. At 15%. What the hell is capital depreciation? Oh wow, I am just doing my business yearly report and it is not so bad then now that I think about it here. Estonia in numbers, 0% on profit retained in company, flat 20% when earned profit is distributed to shareholders payroll tax, 33% so if you invest the money or write it to costs, it's 0%. If you want to pay yourself wage, it's 33%. It's 20% if you take money with dividends. You can become an e-resident here and create a company without really visiting the country shortly. It just came out. Reading this thread is making me realize I know absolutely nothing about taxes. Literally. I will be in Tallinn next Tuesday doing the e-residency. FCK it, I'm moving to Necker Island, awesome. If you wanna meet up and eat lunch or something, let me know. No.